Hi everybody, Chris here. How are you all doing on this scorchingly hot day? I hope you're all doing great. What I wanted to do today is talk about match betting on the weekend, on a Saturday, on a Sunday. What should you expect? How do you get ready for it? How do you make the most of it? So both Saturday and Sunday are great days for match betting and I think they're particularly good for people that work during the week but still want to make some money from match betting because it's an easy opportunity to do so and people actually have the time free in order to do that. I think with match betting you get people that are doing it throughout the week pretty consistently and then there's also people that just really want to dip in and out when they can and Saturday and Sunday are great days in order to do that for the reasons that I'll explain in the rest of this video. Typically on a weekday you'll have maybe 10 bookmakers doing good offers uh, but on the weekend it can be about 15 a day um, or even higher. So you're going to see a higher volume of offers on both of those days, really good valuable ones that you can complete. So that means more choice and more availability to make profit. So in this video I'm going to focus on Saturday but the advice is exactly the same for Sunday really. I could be talking about either day but when I'm talking I'm just going to talk about Saturday just to make things a little bit simpler. So Saturday is an incredibly profitable day for match betting throughout the year and what you'll see is a huge amount of offers coming in to the Profit Squirrel daily offer section here. Now those are gonna start showing on the Saturday itself but you can typically expect certain ones to recur every single week. And what I like to do is just prepare myself on a Friday just to make sure that I'm ready to make the most of the Saturday. So here I am on the Friday and the first thing I like to do is just get familiar with what is likely to be happening tomorrow. So I know from experience that there's going to be horse racing offers and these are typically going to be refund style offers and extra place offers as well as price boosts. So what I'll do is I'll go on the ITV Racing website which I've dropped a link for in the comments below and just take a little scan to see what is coming up tomorrow. Uh, this is July, Saturday the 7th. So we can see that they'll be featuring these races at Sandown and Haydock Park uh, and the reason I'm looking at this is because a lot of the offers are focused on races that are televised by ITV. So there's not really too much to do with this information, but I like to have a little browse so that I know, okay, I'm looking for Sandan, I'm looking for Haydock, and I find it's just helpful to have that in the back of my mind. And I can say with certainty that these particular races are going to be featured by ITV. So are probably going to be ones that there'll be offers on. The other thing I like to do just to get a bit of awareness is to go on this BBC Sporting Calendar page. Again, I'll drop the link for that below for you. And just have a little look to see what sports events are on tomorrow just to get an idea for what I can expect in terms of offers that might come out tomorrow morning. So you have the classic ones that everybody is probably well aware of, um, such as the World Cup in Russia, Wimbledon has started as well, but often there's one or two that you may not realise are on. Um, for example, I don't really follow cycling, uh, and I didn't actually realise that the Tour de France was starting tomorrow. So that's an interesting one, and it's good to know that that is a potential option. And if I'm on a bookmaker website, or if I'm on the daily offers section or the forum of Profit Squirrel, and I see the word Tour de France come up, I can think, okay, maybe that's to do with an offer or something that's happening uh, right now, uh, well, from tomorrow. If you want to go further into each of these events, you can have a search for the World Cup and see what fixtures are on tomorrow. Uh, for tennis, for Wimbledon, you can have a search and see who's playing tomorrow. If you want to go a bit further into it, you can. And that will give you an idea of the specific events that you're likely to be placing match bets on as well. As well as spending a couple of minutes just having a glance at what events are going to be on tomorrow, what I like to do is make sure that my betting exchange is topped up. Uh, I typically will have anywhere between sort of 500 to 1,000 pounds in there on a typical Saturday, but don't let that scare you. You can still do match betting and make profits with maybe 50, 100 pounds in there. Uh, it's just because I've been doing this for a long time, I've built up that bank and I have that available to me to complete a lot of different offers. But if you're just starting out, 
don't worry about it. You can just have 50, 100 pounds in your exchange or even less and just complete fewer offers and you'll build up that bank to do more offers in no time at all. A nice thing about betting exchanges that will keep the bank that you need to keep in them down is the fact that liability is shared on matches that you make on the same event. So for example, if you make several matches on a horse race, then only one of those outcomes can prove to be true. So the liability required will be shared between the multiple match bets that you've made. And that's the same with football matches as well. There can only be one outcome. So if you're laying a draw and say a win by one of the teams, then the liability will be shared between those two. And that's just a nice thing to remember because it means that you actually need less than you might think in your exchange account. So what does a Saturday look like in terms of the offers that you can expect to be coming out and how should you expect to do those? The most common sports that we see good offers in are horse racing, football and casino offers. However, you do get stuff, as I mentioned, on other events like the tennis and golf and probably the Tour de France cycling. But I'd say probably a good 60-70% of the offers are going to be either horse racing or football. So what I would suggest you do is get onto the Profit Squirrel daily offers sometime between 8 and 9 a.m. on a Saturday morning. Check out what's going on with the horse racing. I'd say start there because often what happens is that you get extra good odds on the bookmaker early in the day. And this is because they want to encourage people to place back bets on horse races. Um, so you'll see that from William Hill, Bet365, Ladbrokes, uh, Paddy Power, loads of them will do it in the morning where you get really, really good matches. And what that often means is that the back and lay odds are really, really close to each other. So you can lock in really tiny qualifying losses. And sometimes you can get a sneaky little arbitrage where your back odds are higher than your lay odds and you actually make a few pence of profit by placing the qualifying bet. Typically we say don't go hunting for these arbitrage bets, but when it's early in the morning, bookies are typically going to be aware that there is an arbitrage opportunity. So they're not really going to penalize you for doing that and taking advantage there. So it's early on Saturday morning, you're making these matches on horse racing events. And one thing I'll say just to pay attention to is when you need to use the free bet that you get. So you typically get a type of free bet where you place a match to qualify for it and then you can use that free bet anytime within 24 to 48 hours later on any event and that's cool. And I'd suggest that if you're somebody who wants to just place a few matches on a Saturday morning and then get on with the rest of your day, not have to come back and look at it maybe till the evening, then those are the ones for you to do. And that's absolutely fine. You'll still make some good profits from that. But if you want to make even more profits, make serious amounts, then what I'd suggest is that you want to check in just a few times throughout the day to be using free bets. Because a lot of the juiciest offers have rules that say, you get a free bet from this race and you have to use it on the very next race, which might be half an hour or an hour later. Those are typically called the featured races and your free bet is only valid for that next featured race. So really what that means is that a few times in the afternoon, you'll want to check in to back and lay with the free bet that you've earned and possibly repeat that process several times throughout the day. This is how you make really good profits and I would recommend it. And once you get used to it, it's pretty easy just to spend a few minutes just backing and laying and then you get back to whatever you were doing. But I understand that people might want to just set it and forget in the morning and that's also an option too. But in order to do that, just look out for how soon you have to use your free bets. Between 11 a.m. and midday, you'll start to see the football and casino offers coming out. So I recommend checking in just to see what's going on there. The typical ones you see are football refund offers. And also you sometimes just get straight bets, particularly if there's a big thing on like the World Cup. You'll often see a bet £10 on England 
uh, get a free five pound bet style offer, something like that. Uh, and those are really easy just to back and lay, match off and make a good profit. With the casino stuff, there's often a mixture of the different types of offers, but it's not unusual to get extra free spins at the weekend. Uh, and those can be a really nice quick thing to do, especially if you're out and about, you can just do it on your phone or something like that. As always, the guides on the Profit Squirrel Daily Offers section will explain exactly what you need to do and what you should look out for for each individual offer. And what I'd recommend you do is just set a goal for yourself and say, okay, tomorrow I'm going to complete three offers or I'm going to complete five offers and just check in in the morning with the offers here and over a few Saturdays and Sundays, you'll really start to get a feel for what those days are like and what you can expect. I mentioned the best prices, i.e. the back and lay odds are very close earlier in the day, starting from about 8 a.m., but just note you don't have to get up early in order to do the weekend offers. You can check in about 11 or even midday and you'll see some really good value there. If you look earlier in the day, you will get more profitable matches, but don't worry if mornings are not your thing because you'll still be able to make good money if you wait until later in the day to check in. I hope those are some really good tips for you. Please, please do take advantage of the Saturday and Sunday bets because there are some amazing ones out there with really good value. Thanks so much for watching. Please drop this video a like and subscribe to Profit Squirrel. I hope you have a great weekend and happy matching. I'll see you soon.